hello there. I don't know about you, but I am desperate to travel again. I've got my sunnies, I've got my hat, I've got my passport, I've got my sun cream, I am ready. But because of the COVID-19 quarantine, we can't go anywhere. But all I'm doing at the moment is talking about where will I go as soon as I can go. And it seems obvious that the most likely thing for this summer, summer 2020, is to be traveling closer to home. And you know what, more recently I have been traveling around the UK and have discovered that there are some amazing places right on my doorstep, like the Giant's Causeway near Belfast, like the Locks of Scotland, and like the funky, vibrant city of Liverpool. So I'm sure that wherever you are in the world, that there is somewhere exciting for you to explore closer to home too. But let's just say that we could go beyond our own nations. Where might we go? So I've been doing some research and there are actually some countries in the world where there is no COVID-19. Um, let's see, Lesotho in Africa, Samoa, the Salomon Islands, Turkmenistan, Tonga, and then there are some remote um, inhabited territories like New Zealand's Cook Islands or Svalbard, which is a Norwegian island famous for there being polar bears. There are other places too, and yes, wouldn't it be amazing to go somewhere where there is no COVID-19. But before you book any holiday, be sure that the country you want to go to want you to go there. For example, Australia and New Zealand aren't letting in any foreigners until 2021 earliest. They've opened up their borders to each other, but no one else will be allowed in. And I'm sure there'll be plenty of other countries that are low on COVID-19 numbers that won't want you to go if your country has a high level of COVID-19. But let's just say the country you want to go to will let you in. The question is, will you be brave enough to get on that aeroplane? Only you can answer that question. It's a very personal choice. You've got to weigh up all the risks about the possibility of COVID-19 floating around the plane and being passed around through the air circulation. Obviously, if you've had COVID-19, I know scientists don't seem to really know whether the antibodies you may or may not have may actually be effective. But if I knew that I had antibodies to COVID-19 and that I had had it, then I might be in more of a hurry to get on that aeroplane. So it's a personal decision and maybe you might decide you would go short haul as opposed to long haul. But again, these are things to bear in mind. Of course, plane journeys might be expensive. It's a big unknown because there'll be smaller amounts of people flying and the airlines will be wanting to pick up on their revenue. But there are other ways to travel too, depending on where you live and what's realistic. But you might be able to travel by train, or ferry, put the car on the ferry, or just by car. But there are ways to get around with a combination of all three of those, or just by traveling on a road trip in the car, which again, logic says that might be the safest things to do, but that is a personal choice. Of course, before you travel anywhere, make sure you are properly insured. I'm on a rolling insurance, which will actually roll over in August, and I'm not sure if the insurance company will cover me if God forbid I get COVID-19 whilst I'm away. It's just something to think about. Make sure, not that just you're insured, you're insured just in case you get COVID-19 for repatriation, etc. Read the small print. It may be that we have to pay an extra premium to make sure that we are covered for that if we go abroad and if we don't stay within our own country's borders. What about a cruise? I'm a big cruiser. I've done another video on whether I would cruise again after COVID-19 and you can watch that after this video is over. And the answer is yes, in short, I would definitely cruise again. And it could be that this summer, summer 2020, that there are cruises around your own countries, you can have a cruise experience there that might be safe to go on. I might even cruise further afield, but yes, I definitely would cruise again. And of course, once you've booked up that holiday, do check that your passport is still valid. A lot of passports are running out of validity with this whole lockdown period. And, uh, and some countries require your passport to be valid for six months beyond the date of arrival. So check that out, don't get caught out. Unfortunately, I don't have all the answers. I can just tell you the things to think about before you book up that holiday or go traveling. It's a very, very personal thing. 
it, you'll have to weigh up all your own risk depending on your age, whether you've had COVID-19 and your health risks, etc. And just wear it all up and see what you feel comfortable doing. But I, for one, will be chomping at the bit to get traveling. And I'm sure a lot of you will be too when that moment arrives. It will be such a sweet, sweet moment. Anyway, I really hope you've enjoyed this video and that it's been useful. Um, don't forget, at the end of this video, if you click on another button, you can watch my cruise video as well. But wherever you go, whatever you do, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and happy traveling. Bye.